I'm from a town where the young never shut our eyes. Pick your poison, you could ride with those other guys. Life is more than just a dream when your team's strong. We write anthems, this is more than just a theme song. Rock bees on our winter wears. Welcome to Benam, the home of the Phenoms. It's only one city that we lean on. We call that. What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network Gaming Commentary here for part two of the Minecraft playthrough. Now just as a little bit of a disclaimer, it's early morning, I live in New York City, rush hour. There's going to be a decent amount of background noise, so I do apologize in advance for that. But anyway, so we are going to start the Minecraft playthrough. And um, if you remember, this is part two. And in part one, we basically have struggled with the jungle dungeon. So let's start the game right now. And so as I said... We are going to basically go through this jungle dungeon, and I already had some coal cooking up on the stove here, or I should say charcoal, rather. So with this, we should be able to put some torches into this dungeon and see just what the hell's in here, because I've never seen anything like this before in my life. So first time for everything, huh? It should be fun, though, if we don't die first, because it is almost nighttime, so not a good situation for me. Just needs to hurry up. Although, you know, it's kind of funny because I don't want to really be in a dungeon at night time, but fuck it. It's, it's the life I chose, you know? <laughs> oh, man, this shit is real. Shit is real out here. Let's see if I can put my lighting a little bit off. There we go. Okay, then. So, I think it should be done now. Let us take this. I use sticks as fuel, but my god, they didn't even last long at all. Anyways, all right, I'm a little bit scared about monsters coming in, so... Oh, God. Okay. All right, then. So, I'll just take some of this cobblestone, and I'll just put up this wall here so I don't have to worry about monsters too much. And um, now we need to actually make us some torches, so I'll take this charcoal. Actually, no, we need to actually make wooden sticks first, because sticks are made out of other things besides wood. That's why I call them wooden sticks, obviously. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> and um, so now we got this, put this here, and we got us some torches, thank goodness. So now we won't have to worry about being left with our booty holes open because we'll be able to actually see what's going on out here. But really weird though, I've never seen anything like this before. In the last video, you guys were talking about how this is like a really rare spawn or something like that. So I mean, I feel pretty good behind that. But let's see what's here, because last time we looked here, there were like torches, there were, there were switches. Yeah, what the hell is this? What are these for? I don't get it, man. I'm a little disturbed by this, but you know what? The game goes on. What the hell? It's like a whole structure in itself. What's this? Huh? What? What is that? What? What is that? A tripwire hook. Okay then. If I know Indiana Jones, tripwires are not a good thing. So something is triggered to set off here. But what? Oh, there's monsters out here. I need to plop this up. There we go. What the hell? Oh, there's a treasure chest. Very cool. So this is like a little adventure dungeon kind of way thing. I mean, there was a trap here, but I'm guessing it was that dispenser that I took out. Because it seems like there should be something here that should be killing me by now. But there's nothing, so this works out pretty well for me. Now let's see what's inside. Oh, what the hell is happening here? What the fuck? <laughs> There's another one? Wow. But what shot me? Wow. Okay then. So they got a damn thing here. So I need to destroy these. What? A trip wire dispenser. That was just made for traps, huh? Like, I love how... 
I left my Mojang, just was like, you know what, fuck it. Like, let's just put something in there that will fuck with the people the hardest. Of course something like this will fuck with us. How many arrows are A lot of fucking arrows, man. A lot of them. So this thing is meant to kill you, basically. But this is an interesting system. How does this work? Like, the redstone... So the tripwire connects to the redstone line, which connects to the dispenser, which shoots the arrows out when somebody goes over the tripwire. That is some seriously ingenious shit. Like, I know it's just Minecraft, but sometimes the amount of skill and technical attributes that they put into this is astonishing. But they got some good stuff in here, some gold. Yeah, man, there we go. I'm not down. I'm, I'm, I'm liking this, man. This is actually cool. All right. And I'll take the fucking chest, too, while I'm at it. Wait, I need an axe for this. But I don't have any resources, so... Ah. You know what? Fuck the treasure chest. It's not like we need it. I already have a bunch of wood. So that's all that was in here, huh? So what do these do? What the hell? What was that? Didn't you hear that? Something happened. What was that? Okay then, I'm guessing something was supposed to happen, but maybe I destroyed it already. Well, these things are coming, what the hell? What is that? Oh, this is a cool, what the hell is this? What the hell, there's something inside of this? Whoa! What the hell is this? What am I looking at here, yo? Wow, what, how is this supposed to work? Is there something out here? What is this? What, how is this supposed to work? This is so interesting. How weird is this? Dude. I've never seen anything like this before. I didn't know that they had complex structures like this in this fucking game. What is that? I'm taking everything. I mean, this all is awesome. I want to do something like this. I mean, I'm not much of a creative mode kind of person anyways, but this is cool. Serious shit, man. Minecraft is real, man. Like, I, I need to recognize, like, whoa. What was this meant to do? What is this? What is that? Sticky piston. <laughs> Sounds like someone had a good time. And that someone was the Hulk. <laughs> oh, I'm hungry. Okay then. So I'm guessing it was in this chest. Just gold. Gold isn't exactly the best thing, but I definitely do appreciate bones. No homo. Rotten flesh. You know, very interesting contents inside of this treasure chest. I wonder who the fuck just decided, let me just leave my gold, my bones, and my rotten flesh inside this chest, and then make a fucking complex system to guard it. Like, what kind of stuff is this? I mean, it is Minecraft, so, you know, traps have a little bit less of an effect on people in here because, you know, the whole, I can pretty much dig through anything type of thing, but... All right, it's nighttime, so I don't know if I should head out or not. I don't want to, but at the same time, I'm bored here, so I don't want to stay here for too long. I wish I had enough resources to make a bed right now, but you know what? Can't have everything. What's the sound? Did you hear that tapping? What? Oh, it's a chicken. Okay. What's up with you, chicken? So, come here often? I guess not. Maybe so. Either way, I need your giblets, chicken. Sorry. Ow. That's exactly why I needed them. Right there, it's almost daytime, so it should be cool to head out. I definitely don't want to set up house in here because, you know, it's a freaking jungle dungeon. Monsters could pop up at any moment, I think. So instead, we are going to travel out, my friends, onward into the world to be able to discover the secrets of Minecraft. With only my trusty stone sword in hand, resources attained from a jungle dungeon. Oh, wait, my lights. We need to get more. We need to get those back. Those are somewhat important. I mean, hey, why waste resource, right? Go back. I almost forgot that. That's like the most important thing. So we don't get ass raped when we go inside of a different dungeon if we ever find another one. Here, you come with me. 
So cool though. Oh man, I need to play more Minecraft. This is awesome. Okay then, time to leave. Alright then, so we basically explored the dungeon, and you know what? I was expecting something a lot better than what we found, but hey man, it works for me. It's still pretty cool to see that stuff like that is possible with this game. Like complex ass systems that use like trip wires and bows and arrows. What? I never thought that Minecraft was rolling like that. Oh, how convenient. Just at the last block for us to get out, the thing breaks. That works for me. Let's get out of here. I don't know where we're going to go, but until we find somewhere that's nice, I'm just going to keep moving, man. As I said, the goal here is to beat the game. We need to get enough resources to be able to go into the Ender Portal. And then once we can go through the Ender Portal, we fight that Ender Dragon, beat the game, and then I'll be able to read the final poem and see exactly what the hell the game of Minecraft is all about. I heard it's a big mindfuck. I didn't want to spoil it for myself. Oh, sheep! Let's go! Let's go! Come here! Where are you going? Yo, I need that for my bed, man. You dudes are gonna make a great Serta mattress, man. I fucking love Serta. Oh, I'm, oh, man. You know what? At least you get the last laugh because the black one didn't die first this time. Come here, come here. Yeah, racism, bitch. Okay, then. Oh, I can make some... I can make a bed now, so... Um, we don't really need the crafting table back there. We have more than enough wood, so not really that important. I know for a fact that anywhere that we do go, that we wind up making our home, I want to make it a flat surface because if we get jumped and we're like in a jungle where creepers just live and could spawn anywhere, then that's going to be bad news for me. But living on a flat surface, that's the shit I do like. Oh, I'm sorry. I feel like I'm on a genocide mission here. Just give me your meats, okay? I'm sorry, guys. Come on, there we go, there we go, yes, beautiful. What's that black thing? <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> what is that? What is that thing? Is that a cave? This is all happening in real time, man. I don't, I've never seen this before. This is all new to me. What is that? That looks so fucking intimidating. I'm sorry, but this just really... What in the hell? It's totally black. Is it a big cave? What the hell? Anyways, guys, so that is 11 minutes and such. So we are going to end the video here, but I will see you in part three. So thank you for tuning in and take care of yourselves, guys. Have a good one. Yeah, later. Hello guys, welcome to part 3 of our Minecraft playthrough, starting it up. Anyway, so last time we left off, we ran to this area where it was totally black, and then as soon as we got there, it turned totally light, so that really tricked me, but you know what, it's fine. We're still searching for a home here, a pretty good amount of land where it's flat to be able to make our place of residence. Uh, I'm pretty picky when it comes to this kind of thing, so forgive me if I'm like giving you guys a runaround. And speaking of runaround, we need to be able to make us some food because... This is not going to be good if we don't have anything cooked, so you know what, I might as well make our furnace right now. We're going to need to use wooden planks to make that, so let us do so. This dirt, we don't need this. But yeah, so, very fun. I mean, that jungle dungeon back there, I was expecting a lot more from that, but hey man, you can't, you can't have everything you want. So, let us now make a furnace. Why didn't I take the furnace that we had with us? Like, that was so stupid of me. Chiseled stone bricks. Okay, I know I'm going to need more stuff to make a furnace, so... Let's just make some tools for now. I'm going to need, like, one more cobblestone to make a furnace, so... We're going to have to deal, so... Boom. Sticks. Wait, what was I doing? Sticks? Okay. And we're going to make some tools, but I need to make a crafting table, so... Alright, we're going to have to do more hunting of wood, I suppose. Why did I throw away all my tools? We could have used all that. Well, whatever. Okay, then. So, I'm, I am a little bit delirious right now, because... 
I just woke up and I'm like sleepy, so I'm sort of playing a little half-assed, but for some reason, waking up this morning, I was like, oh, play Minecraft, and I was like, yeah, yeah, sure, why not? So, this is the result. Your narrator, Etika, playing Minecraft. Really, really tired, but hey, it's kind of fun. What is, what's that? Is that a, no, that's just a hill. I'm not running anymore. Probably because I'm hungry. We really need to cook, so let me make us a... Wait, didn't we just have a crafting table? Am I going crazy? Am I really going crazy now? Because I remember us just having a crafting table. You guys are probably going to laugh at me so hard for this, man. Oh, God. All right. Let's make another one. <laughs> I fuck it up. Okay. So, boom. Okay, now, tools. We're gonna need a couple of these, so let's, let's stack them up. All right, we're gonna need an axe. Yes. Oh, okay. Next thing we're gonna need is more cobblestone, but we're gonna we, we can never have too much wood. So let's just collect some more wood from these trees. Thank goodness I found those sheep earlier. At least we can make a bed now. But we need to hurry up and make a furnace. So we gotta find us some cobblestone. I guess at one point I am going to have to dig underground, huh? Well, whatever. I don't mind. It's just that I wanted to find us a nice place to live first, and then we dig underground, but I'm not finding anywhere that I really want to live in, because most of these places are just breeding grounds for creepers to come in and surprise the hell out of me. I kind of want to live in a desert a little bit. Like, a desert wouldn't be that bad. I think it'd be kind of fun. But we will see, because as we continue on this journey, we have no idea what we are going to run into, so whatever does happen, we can manage as long as it looks nice. And look at all those sheep. I am about to go crazy. They just see some dude running with a sword towards them in the bushes. They're like, oh, he's going to feed us. Yeah, I'm going to feed you, all right? <laughs> That's what I do. I feed sheep. Fucking metal. Did you get your iron today? <laughs> well, <laughs> you damn sure did now. Okay, so if we were in a snowy biome, we could technically see the monsters coming to us, so not too bad of a prospect there. Let's try it out. And it snows, so that's kind of cool in itself. Because I just want to be somewhere where creepers are easily spottable from where we are, and that is definitely somewhere where I think that would be the case. Oh, we can get some cobblestone here. Okay, then. But we need an actual axe in order to get the cobblestone. Okay, then. Bad move on my part. We're going to need one more. Wait, I'm not going to be able to mine it with this. Hmm. I can't use moss stone for it, huh? Okay, then. So, we are just going to use the sword to be able to break a piece of cobblestone off and then use that to create a pickaxe. Whoa, what is he doing? Is he tapping with the sword? <laughs> Funny. Booyah. Okay, now, there's no fucking cobblestone. What the hell? Dude. You're going to really force me into actually making a pickaxe out of wood? Fine, whatever. I don't care. As long as we can get us some damn cobblestone, and I don't mind. So, Going into our sticks. They will break your bones and hurt you. Okay then, so we are done with this. Now we can actually get us some damn cobblestone because this seems like it's the hardest task in the world when cobblestone is probably the most abundant item in the damn game in the first place. Let's get us some cobblestone. Okay. Get us some cobblestone, get us some wood while we're at it. I think this is enough cobblestone. <laughs> I don't need that much. We're still looking for our home, man. I'm having a strict policy here where I don't want to do jack shit until we find us a home. Let's look. I am the talented swimmer. What's cool is that when it's raining in most of the biomes, when we go to the snowy biome, it's snowing. So I like that. Plus, the floor is all white, so you don't have to worry about not seeing creepers. There's a fucking desert right in the middle of the damn 
snowy biome. This is just fucking with me really badly right now. Okay. How is a snow biome this small? This is like so pathetically small, it's crazy. I don't know if I want to live here. I don't know if I want to live here exactly because it's like, meh. It's so boring. I mean, there's no life here. But then again, it is Minecraft, so it's not like I can talk about things being exciting. But hey, a guy can dream, can't he? Especially when the guy is ethical. Huh. All right then. So I'm seeing some sugar cane over there. So we're gonna run over, grab us some of it see what we can do and then probably I'll make a little bit of a shelter at night to go inside of a like a cave so this way we can just sleep really quick and then let the day come by we can use this for maps so definitely something we want to look into okay so is the sun setting or is it rising okay it's probably setting because it was daytime or oh it's guys what come here I'm so sorry this is going to be a fucking genocide. Resources. What the hell? I'm being shot at. Oh, shit. Yo, I'm not trying to fuck. Oh, I'm starving. I'm going to die. Okay. Don't f fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. Let's go. Just go. Just go. Oh, oh shit. I'm going to die. No. No, don't don't die. Just just put the fucking wool there. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh, Jesus Christ! I need to do something, man. I gotta do something. I really gotta do something. I'm gonna fucking die in here, of hunger if I don't fucking cook this food, man. Oh man. Okay. All right. Is this good? Yeah, I think it's good. Okay then. So uh, now just gonna put a torch down. And we are going to dig a little bit of a hidey hole. Okay, let's make it a little bit bigger. All I heard, all I know is that at one point I heard an Enderman, and when I heard the Enderman, I was like, "No way, I'm not dealing with this, man. Like, there's, there's no way. I just dig a hole. I don't care how shallow it is. Just, just get away from this area. So now we need to build us a." We need to build us a goddamn furnace because if we don't cook this steak up to be able to eat it the right way, then we're going to pretty much die in this bitch. One, two, three. Okay, we got us a furnace. Boom. Put, put wood in there and then we'll use it as charcoal. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Let's use it. When we get one piece of charcoal, we'll put that in the furnace and use that instead. Okay, take this. Put that in there. Yeah, that'll last us a lot longer. Anyways, while we're at it, we will craft this a bed really quick. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure I had enough wool collected. Where's the wool? Can't see anything from this far away. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. I'm playing with the screen a little far from me because when my computer plays something hard like this, since I still need the CPU thermal paste for my computer, the temperature still gets a little high, so the fan goes really, really loud. So that's why I'm playing a little bit far away from the computer, so this way I don't, you know, get all that background noise of the computer processing the game. Right? Okay, there's something up here. Boom. No, no, I'm not, I'm not fucking around with that. Okay, then. So, guys, um, that's pretty much the basis of it. We're going to sleep. And, yeah, thank you all for tuning in to this segment of the Ethical World Network Gaming Commentary as we play Minecraft. So, next episode, we will see what happens, if we find us a home or not. This way we can move on. What the hell is that sound? Anyway, so, once again, guys, take care of yourselves, and please have a damn good one.